this pattern is not new. This pattern is actually very, very old. Uh, and we can look at um, the progressive salinization theory of the early Tigris-Euphrates civilizations collapsing. We can look at how deforestation led to significant drought among the Maya. Um, and eventually that drought outlasted their water supplies and, and then the Maya kind of collapsed into the, the existing uh, rural peoples that are still there in, in Guatemala and southern Mexico. We can look at um, George Washington's statements about how tobacco farmers in southern Virginia were driving westward expansion, not out of some concept of manifest destiny, but because their soils were so degraded that they couldn't grow tobacco anymore and they had to move on. Um, the difference now is that we're playing out this pattern everywhere. There's nowhere to expand to. Um, and typically when, when these kinds of things happen, you either get military expansionism or you get conquering or you get collapses. And so the, it's not so much the planetary boundaries, it's, it's our misuse of resources and our failure to recognize the the scale of degradation that's happening. And I really like Kate Raworth's donut economics concept around this. What I think most people don't get is that the, the outside border of that donut is not fixed, right? Planetary boundaries or the potential for Earth to produce is, is not fixed. We can increase that through designing good management or we can decrease it through continual degradation. Um, and the former is definitely the, the rule. Uh, it would be good to make it the exception.